Good day. By using the MOB Advanced Sales Orders module, you can easily set up sales order processing to fit your specific sales workflow needs. In this training video, we will review the Sales Orders module with specific focus on the preferences settings. Receiving payment for customer invoices are covered in our Accounts Receivable videos, which forms part of the Finance Suite and is available on the Verde Training Portal. The Sales Orders module provides flexible pricing and discounting policies. With MOB Advanced, your company can deliver orders accurately, consistently and efficiently. The Sales Orders module supports the following sales order types in the Enterprise Edition of MOB Advanced. The Enterprise Edition also allows for custom order types with special processing. Your MOB Advanced implementation will be concluded by a Verde consultant who is certified to implement MOB Advanced business. The system is highly configurable and it is important to note that our training videos on sales orders covers the basic business processes you need to know when selling to your customers. Please refer to your Verde consultant for details on any customization they might have included in your implementation. With that being said, let's get right into the system for our overview of sales order preferences. Let's navigate to sales orders and look at the preferences section. All of the preferences we'll cover in this video will be configured by your Verde consultant after review of your company's needs and changes to any preferences settings should only be done after consulting your Verde business partner. Let's click on Sales Order Preferences now to open this form. The General Settings tab holds the default settings of the Sales Orders module and can be used to select the default order types and price validation options, as well as to specify the processing options for shipments and documents generated in the module. In the Shipment Settings section, the Validate Shipment Total on Confirmation checkbox allows for selection to display a control quantity field on the shipment. The Shipped Quantity and Control Quantity fields must then be equal before the document can be saved. By using the settings in the Fulfillment Workflow section, we can define which fulfillment operations can be performed in an automated manner by using a barcode scanner. The settings in this section are branch specific and only available if the automated warehouse operations and fulfillment features are enabled. The approval tab is shown when the approval workflow feature is enabled. We use this tab to configure approvals for sales orders of order types for which approval is supported. The reporting settings tab contains the list of the predefined mailings for customers which are used to print documents or send electronic versions. This tab includes the default sources table with the list of mailings and the default recipients table with the list of recipient types. Next, we'll have a brief overview of the other preferences in the sales orders module. The FOB points form is used to create and maintain the list of free onboard shipping points, also known as FOB points. At FOB points, the supplier delivers the goods and pays for the freight to that point. The freight and other expenses for the goods from that point are paid by the customer. The shipping terms form is used for creating and maintaining the list of shipping terms in the system. Shipping terms are used to define the shipping, packaging and handling costs depending on the shipment amount. We create and maintain our shipping zones on the shipping zones form. These zones are used to calculate freight charges when goods are shipped to customers. The boxes form is used for creating and maintaining the list of boxes used by your company for shipping goods by different carriers. Settings such as box dimensions, weight and maximum weight capacity are used for automatic packaging and freight calculations for shipments. And this brings us to the end of our overview of preferences in the Sales Orders module. These preferences control the various system settings and should only be modified after consulting your Verde MOB Advanced Consultant. Please let us know with your feedback and join us again for more as we explore MOB Advanced through our training videos. Thank you for watching.